You can set different access levels for authorized personnel according to time zones. For example, limiting access according to specific daily times or holidays. At the time set configuration, you can set the time for permissible door access. By default, there are two predetermined time sets. If you need to add a new time set, click on Add New Time Set and rename it according to your preference. There are three time intervals which can cater to a total of three shifts. Configure these time sets to determine at which times employees can gain access to the door. For example, to restrict a contract staff, you can set the duration at which they are allowed entry into the premises such as only between 9 to 11 a.m. Access can also be limited during holidays. However, there is only one period available and thus can cater to only one shift. This time zone is only applicable when used with ingresses. Once holiday time zone has been created, you can configure the settings according to your own holiday list. Remember to sync the device for the changes to take effect. Once time set in holiday time zone has been configured, it can be assigned to specific users or groups. There are two default access groups, full access and no access. You can add a new access group if preferred. Assign users into their respective groups once they have been set. By doing this, you can control the accessibility of employees by group instead of individually. Once done assigning users to their respective group, you need to select which doors the rule applies to. If the holiday setting is applicable for this group, do remember to tick the checkbox for holiday settings to be taken into account. You can also set a single or combination of verification methods needed for verification to improve security. Users can assign up to 50 time ranges per day with 15 verification types available. For example, restricting access to certain employees after office hours, or requiring them to verify using both fingerprint and RFID card. You must also set which door this rules applies to once you have set the verification type. 